We are back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. So, I want to talk about camp, but let's finish <laughs> talking about the dinner because some of the money I'm guessing raised from the dinner will help subsidize camp? Absolutely. Okay. And depending on what our need is and what the request is from our families, we make sure that anyone that has that need, whatever help they need to get to camp, we make sure they get to camp, whether that's transportation, whether that's registration fees, uniforms, tents, cooking equipment, whatever it may be, this dinner helps us buy those resources they need to make sure they have a great experience out at camp. Okay, and you, <laughs> just thinking about camp and thinking about these kids, uh -huh. um, I can just imagine the fun that they have. Oh, they have a great time from yeah. fishing, hiking, swimming, to different merit badge work, even things like we think about robotics and graphic arts and some of those different things. We have a number of different resources at our camp facilities to make sure that they have a quality experience over that time that they're there. Okay, so how do I get a ticket? How do I get to the dinner? Easy way, go to our website, lhcscouting.org slash Whitney. LHC is our Laura Highlands Council Scouting, lhcscouting.org slash Whitney, and all the information you need is right there in front of you. So when you say Laura Highlands, then this covers an entire region? What does that mean? It does. We cover 15 counties here in western Pennsylvania and uh, western or northern Maryland and western uh, West Virginia. So we have four counties in West Virginia, two counties in Maryland, and 11 counties here in western PA. Oh, okay. Yeah, All so right. Okay. Large footprint. <laughs> Indeed. All right. So the dinner, tell me the date again. February 20th, Thursday, February 20th, Fairmont, Pittsburgh. We're going to start at 6 p.m. and we'll get everyone out of there by 8 o'clock. Okay. And is there a speaker? There is. Dr. Andre Perry is coming from Washington, D.C. to speak with us. He's a native of Pittsburgh uh, and he's coming to tell us more about urban development and reaching out to urban communities. And the scouts will participate in the dinner. Absolutely. All right, so even if you're thinking that maybe scouting is a good opportunity for your son, yeah. or maybe you want to volunteer, Absolutely. this is a great way to come out and learn more information. It is. You can get more information, or you can go to BeASCOUT.org. BeASCOUT.org is your one-stop shop for everything, for to sign your kids up, to volunteer, or to find out more information about how you can join scouts. And Put your zip code in, and it'll find the closest programs near your home. And I'm sorry, tell me again how much the tickets are? Tickets for this event are $80, and when you go to that website, you'll see all the information there. It's 80 bucks. We have a regular ticket, and we have a VIP ticket as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there's really no excuse. No, no excuse at all. And if you nice. want to come to the event, you can look me up, or you can go, like I said, lacscouting.org slash Whitney, and we're good to go right there. No, I'm just curious. Yes. Were you a scout as a young boy? I was for about 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up a football, and that was it for my oh, scouting okay. career. All right. I but see. one of the things that I always tell people now is that you can do both. No one told me that I could do both, and I remember my 30, 45 days vividly. I cooked my first meal. It was ravioli and boiled corn over an open fire. I went on a hike I thought was five miles. It may have been a mile and a half, and I forgot my fishing pole. Wow. <laughs> I remember that, and that was my 30 days. So I always tell scouts that are in four, five, six years in the program, I can just imagine the friends, the activities, the memories, the things they take with them for the rest of their lives because of the program. Well, and you know, you think about it in 2020, just that process of being outside. Absolutely. How often do we try to get our kids to spend some time outside? Once they get out there, they have a good time. Absolutely. But sometimes you have to pry that uh, PlayStation out <laughs> of their hands you to do. get them outside. Yeah. And you mentioned earlier about keeping our program relevant. We try and incorporate a lot of things with their cell phones, like GPS and some of the programming that we do with Merit Badges. They can use their cell phone to help navigate some of the things that we do in Scouts now. And final, one more question before I let you go. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is still, there's something about becoming an Eagle Scout. Absolutely. That really is a sense of accomplishment. And when you hear that a young man is an Eagle Scout, that's like a real, no pun intended, but badge of honor. It is. It is. And it's something that I think even companies and even our, our armed forces recognize as something that a young man has really put some time and effort into and really done a, a, a good job of working through the program and reaching the pinnacle that they can in this program. And so much so, we have board members and companies and things like that that say if they see Eagle Scout on a resume, uh, automatic interview. Or if you go into the military, it's an automatic promotion from a P5 to a P4. So it's different things around the country and, and in the business world that honor that rank of Eagle Scout. Indeed. One of our co-workers here at the station, Ron Buckner, his son 
was working on that uh, process, I guess about two years ago. Uh -huh. But I remember the sense of pride that his dad, you could see it. Oh, absolutely. All over his face <laughs> absolutely. again, indeed. Give us the website again for ticket information. LATScouting.org slash Whitney. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. No well, problem. Thank you. Indeed. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to introduce you to a young lady who has quite a story to tell, not only her personal story, but it's a story in a book as well. You'll want to stick around for that. Don't go away.